a solution to boot record error by rebuilding boot configuration data. The 0xc000000e error when trying to boot up Windows means that you're dealing with corrupted boot configuration data. The boot configuration data is a global store for all boot options and settings related to newer Windows PCs. We get this error when trying to boot our device, and we will be presented with a black screen of death that gives us instructions on how to repair the computer using an installation disk or a recovery drive. Unfortunately, having that recovery drive is the only way to solve this issue. We can create one using Rufus or Windows Media Creation Tool from any other PC or laptop. Step-by-step -step guide is given in this video. We will also need to boot into the BIOS to change the boot order and make our PC boot from the recovery drive instead of your hard drive. Depending on your computer's model, the key to enter the BIOS settings of your system will change. For me, it's the escape key. For you it can be F8, F11, or any other button. Search on internet to know for your system. Enter the BIOS settings of your computer, and boot from the recovery drive. This EFI USB device is our recovery USB drive, so we will select it and press enter. The system will start booting from our recovery drive. It may take some time to load. We will see the Windows installation wizard. Click Next to continue. Since we want to repair our system, we will click the Repair Your Computer link. We will be presented with some options to choose from. Click on Troubleshoot. It will give us some advanced options. We can try some options like Startup Repair or System Restore, or if we have any recovery image then we can try System Image Recovery options. But for the error we encountered, none of those options worked. So we will try to rebuild our boot record using the command prompt. So, let us click the command prompt option. This is the command prompt window that we will see. We will be typing some commands one by one. To begin with, our first command will be, boot sect, space, forward slash, nt, 60, space, sys, and press enter. You will see a message stating successfully updated the FAT32 file system boot code. Now let us fix the master boot record with the command, bootrec, space, forward slash, fix, MBR, and press enter. We will see the operation successful message. Our next command will be bootrec space forward slash fix boot. Then press enter. Here too you will see the operation successful message. With the next command, we will try to rebuild the BCD data from scratch. The command is bootrec space forward slash rebuild bcd then press enter here we can see that operation is successful but identified windows installation count is shown as zero this is because if you ran the bcd boot command earlier bootrec lists only the additional windows installations if any is present if the bcd already includes a windows installation entry bootrec does not create a duplicate entry. And, if no additional instances are present, bootrec output shows, total identified Windows installations, 0. As we have no additional Windows instances, so it shows 0. You may get output like this, showing a non-zero identified Windows installation count. Here it shows one Windows installation found. It will ask if you want to add that Windows installation to the boot list. Enter, A, or, Y, and press enter. It will be added to the boot list, and an operation successful message will be shown. Let us exit this command prompt by typing the exit command and pressing enter. Click turn off your PC, and restart your system again. This time you should not get the boot error, and you should be able to boot from your system drive normally. This is how I was able to fix the boot configuration problem in my system that was keeping me from booting into my system. If you liked the information then, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice day.